Hello ladies and gents, thank you for watching our previous video about our Austin Healy V8. This video is about Kate, our 1969 Ford Capri, which we bought about two and a half, three years ago. We worked on the engine to get it started because it was seized. Uh, we drove it around the estate a couple of times, realized it needs a full restoration. Since then we've moved to a workshop, setting ourselves up with uh, equipment, tools, knowledge and general uh, information on how to go about rebuilding one of these cars. In this video you're going to see a little bit of our welding progress, fabrication and uh, general struggle. <laughs> Enjoy! Wall art? Hey? Wall art? Yeah. It's another. Well, it's 200 quid if anybody wants it. Got a few spot welds. Well, that's one less spot weld to worry about. Like that, might need to come a bit further down. Right, I need to finish welding this seam on, all of this, uh, and I've got to fit the rear panel on to help me get the new rear quarter uh, in the right place. I'm just going to take some of the burrs off from cutting. So it's got a little bit of brown there. I'll just give it a shake. like a frothy grey liquid. Rub it in. Oops, I'm going to add a bit on there. Uh, stuff I put on just turned purple so I'm gonna put a coat of uh, zinc primer on it now here okay. although down there is all primed Maybe clamp it first, yeah. to come down and that way. You know what? That panel's getting on my tits. Oh no, I'm gonna put... Yeah, I'm gonna... That's massive. It's a nice big chock. 
It's too freaking small. I'm gonna double it up. Why does it have to be so freaking difficult? Yeah, that clamp there. Take this little sucker off. Now. Yes, sir. That was the sort of movement I was after. I think. I'm going to put a texture in there. Ask questions later. Now, we do have a bit of a funny thing going on there. But we're bang on here. Oh, now we are. Bloody beautiful. Do you know what? I'm going to use texture again so I can shut the bonnet. Anyway, that's there. That lines up beautifully, so I'm going to put a couple of tech screws in there for what they're worth. Hmm. But if I clamp it, I can't shut the bonnet. So what I'm going to do is, I need to drill more holes here anyway for the spot welding, so instead of drilling a hole, I'm just going to use a tech screw. That's nice. Yes, sir. Lovely. So, that, as you guys pointed out, goes in there. Clamps are a bit of a no-go here because they're just going to warp the panel. So I want to get that nicely snug in there. Let's have a go at this. Is that right? We'll find out. They pulled the freaking panel out, didn't they? rubbish. Right, let's take this little sucker off. See that going back in again? Why are you doing that, dude? I don't want you to be pushing out, dude. I want you to go in, yeah? I'm going to uh, kill that to text It's cramping my style. That is pretty nifty there, I think. Yeah. Right, let's get a clamp. Nice big fat clump. Clump, I mean a clamp. Right. Well, got another challenge here. One of those days. See, I need an extra pair of hands now. This is Ray there. See that? See that? Yeah. Oh, it's lifting yeah, up it's again. again yeah. Yeah. See what I mean? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. I'm keep slipping that. Oh. In that hole there, yeah? Right, I can support this again. Yeah, right? that's, yeah that's, that's perfect there, mate. That's right. pulled back. Get your welder then. Now, you've got to go further away. Yeah, I'm further away. I need room. You tell me where you want it, and that's the hole. That's there. the furthest I can go. Stop. Okay, have a look. Have a look. Relax. Cool. Yeah, 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 relax it, relax it. Yeah? You know, it ain't bad, to be fair. But it just needs a bit. No, it needs to come this way, doesn't it? Oh. Oh. far off but since it is such a critical location do, do you see what I mean yeah and, uh, take your weld off okay. right okay yeah okay. you should now be able to get one on 
can get that up. That's pretty good there, dude. Go on then. You like, you like that, don't you? There you go. Good. Spot on, Paul. Spot on, Paul. Inside, you got some swarf. Oh, Stuck I've, in the joint. I thought I'd cleared all of it. Have a, have a look. Okay. If you can get that swarf out from there, yeah. you'll find that then you can just put a bit of pressure on and that panel will just pop back up level with that That's one. That's what we want on there, man. Alright, cheers lads. Holding, actually, that's freaking good. Let's, let's keep doing that. That's, that's good. Gap shrinking. Oh. Kind of gone as expected, which means like you know, there's you know that looks worse than it is. I'm very happy with that as a start, and that area looks pretty good. I'm going to get back to this uh, in a couple of days. Well, it's another day here on planet Earth. We've got to uh, now fully. Have I fully? Oh, pretty fully. Uh, well, did this little bad boy in? He's an old boy. That's Gav making the. What is that called now? Rear. It's part of the boot floor. Basically, uh, that bit that goes in there. Um, we're, gonna, we're gonna replace this panel. That's the panel that Gav's making. There was quite a few changes made in between, between the trim levels as well. Yeah, well, I've, I've painted the underside of that on my car. Look at this. Mm -hmm. This is lip, 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 lip. How's your rusty love cap, man? Are you enjoying it? Incredible, dude. Turn the other way around, man. You want to see the front? It's a badass one. Yeah, that's pretty good. If anyone wants one, I'll put a link in the description, guys, so you can uh, order your Rusty Love hat. We do them in several different colours. This is the grey one. Beautiful evening, actually. You can see that's been filled. Yeah. That used to So, yeah. I'm going to use my uh, grinder to grind this layer off. up the rust back here it means I've had to take off uh, significant metal so I've just been working on straightening this line here 
I'm putting this panel in. Gav started this a few days ago to get this panel uh, into there. That, that sort of thing, yeah. So that was there, and I just ground the corner. And it was much easier to take off. I've took the lip here off as well. That's the. Uh, Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bead blast this, this area here. So I've bead blasted it, and I can just about make one little spot well there. So I've removed the uh, inner excessive layer, and I've bead blasted all the edges uh, to give us a nice clean weld. This is the lip that is used, which is part of this panel, and. Um, is the one that goes between the other panels and gets welded but as you can see it was a bit crispy Okay, Koki, so I've finished this thing in the sense of uh, welding it and grinding it and cutting it. So now I need to work out how to use that stepper thing. Well, it's a start. It's a good 3-4 mil out, so it might mean that we have to do this by hand. Well, I've come to uh, prepare this panel for tacking in, but um, I didn't anticipate that. Once the panel is in, basically it butts up against here, right? It butts up here, comes out to here, and then goes down. There's nowhere for me to access uh, this area to spot weld. I'm going to have to cut the panel in two pieces and do it in two pieces, so I'm going to cut on this ridge here. It's been a long day. Helped my mate Russell today move his uh, garage belongings over to Birmingham. So I spent about four or five hours here and not much to show for it, but Still, progress is being made. I've uh, welded this panel in. It's just a puzzle. Uh, so I've welded that panel in, and now we've tacked this in place. And then I'm going to test fit the rear quarter with the back panel. This little thing is in now. Okay, so the rear panel is in. I've tacked it back to the uh, holes that we had originally. Well, I say originally, about a month or two ago. I'm going to find a place for this somehow. about 4,000 miles off. This is now lying up too high because we still got the old panel underneath it. Ooh la la. Give me power, baby.
Where are my sunglasses? And my gloves. Wacky gave me these. But, uh, I don't know if you can see. Right, let's cut this iron. Final cut time. Truth. Moments of truth. Oh my goodness. I'm going to clear all that off so I can work. Yeah. I need to prime that. Yeah. Oh man. No, I don't need to prime that because that's going to come back out again. So. Well, it's been about an hour, right? It's not perfect. By no stretch of the imagination, but. It's, it's sort of in the place where I'm going to put it. Push this panel out a touch. Talking about two mil. Well, yeah, about two mil. I need a block or wood. Okay, let's put a little tack there. That is a tack. See, that line is nice. And then up here, it's kind of gone out. Almost a horror story. Mr. Raymond Smith. It sounded like um, a cordless truck. Yeah, it's next door, man. They're, they're, they're making drugs, I think. With a, with a cordless truck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Clunk it a bit harder, dude. Mm. Clunk, 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 clunk. Mm. That's not moving over at all. It's big mama here. We've got the panel now in where we want it, and I've just been tacking in this jobby permanently. I had a bit of a meltdown though. Every now and then I uh, lose my rag. Things like this happen. Uh, I'm gonna have to repair that at some point. On a positive note, I'm very happy with the way this has gone in. It's gonna come out again, that panel, because I've got to prepare it. The reason I lost my temper was because I can't push this panel out. I'm trying with all sorts of freaking lengths of steel, blocks of wood, and it's just uh, driving me freaking nuts. But, uh, anyway, I'm gonna pull out some different lengths and hopefully get the bullseye.
it's in. I've still got to finish uh, tacking it, uh, but it's in. So uh, that's really good. Still, when I've got the car back on the spit, I'm going to turn it upside down and finish off the lower corners. It's quite a lot of work to do underneath it on both sides. And Ray has lent me his spot welding machine. I'm a bit apprehensive about using that because last time it was blowing the fuses here. So now I've got an extension lead all the way to Ray's workshop. I've lined it up for the first spot weld and here goes. shouldn't be touching the, the rest of the car maybe it's the zinc primer oh balls I'm gonna see if I can weld something else first I'm just gonna see if it welds this bit of metal yeah man that definitely worked I think I'm gonna have to wire brush it See? Getting done? Oh uh, yeah. This bracing. Yeah. Well that's done. Now it's this little thing. Yes, it's opened the hole. <laughs> Floor, but I'll be able to uh, blob that. Good. Let me go. Right. I'm not a happy chappy. I've got support though. <laughs> uh, I've done some shoddy work today, guys. Uh, I ain't got the long, long enough clamps. The spot weld has not gone in long enough jaws. I'm going to stop. Well, I've stopped. I've tied it up. No more going ahead today because it's uh, rubbish. Hello, everyone. It's uh, Christmas Eve today. All good. Just uh, taking. Doing, having to do work commitments before Kate and tonight I've spent a bit of time for the first time in weeks gone a bit with the, the grinder tidying up those welds down there finished welding this now I'm patching some holes uh, which obviously uh, need doing and I'm gonna have to go in with a very thin disc there to try and put some shape back into that I've dressed this one up which means basically grinding it a little bit and we'll put that into place
and out. Thank you. Grace of a f Somebody like you What we want to watch out is that we've got enough clearance for the roof Which we might not Bit of fire there, man. Finish this off. Finish this off. Obviously, cut that excess off. Yeah, it's plenty to do. So today I'm uh, fitting this. Uh, well, not fitting, but mounting this lower corner. Uh, this bit here is excess metal, guys. I'm going to be chopping on all that off but I'm just trying to get the the folds here nice okay and here is some of the progress so patch obviously it's rough but it's solid yep yeah, it's raining Looks like Frankenstein around here. <sighs> right, it's raining. Hello, Mr. Tony. I'm the jiggly poker. Hammer and dolly kit. Right. Tony's trying to. Uh, um, the seal is a little bit short, so we're trying to reshape the, the part so it fits the. Uh, the what's this thing called? The arch. Yeah, arch. Yeah, yeah. So make a nice the seal's been welded in the wrong in place, really. Eh? Tip yourself and put it back on after. Yeah, if it, you're gonna have to because it's probably yeah. got a spot weld under it, hasn't yeah. it? I'm gonna 
drill these ones out. Maybe some more from there. Oh. There's going to be one under there, Tone, isn't there? Welded from above, is this? It's a, it's a oh board. shit, yeah, they've welded another plate, haven't they? That's, that's yeah. the welded plate there. Good, factory spot welds, are they? No wonder it rusted. That's the weld, is, is, that, is that a spot weld there? The one you just well, took? It, yeah. No, that's the it. That's the probably. We ain't got new ones in these, have we? Uh, no, we're gonna have to repair that one. Yeah, we'll repair that and keep that as a pattern. Remove the the plate. Well, we're gonna have to put a plate in there. Yeah. To to obviously fix that and then mm. fix this. Well done, Mr. Tony. That's it. They can be repaired now. Yep. Yeah. Well, you can't go wrong because they are. Well, you can. You always go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> The difference that was a bit of relievement, mate. Mm hmm. Great. So, you're best having a bit of a gap to work to if it's too much metal in, it's got nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. That'll go to there, look. I'm kind of bit out with a curve. You see, here, look. Yeah. Kind of a bit out with that because it kind of, kind of flexes light, look. Mm hmm. Where'd you learn that technique, Tone? What? The look away technique. Just putting this one in. Is this coded welding technique? Huh? Is this how you do petrochemical connections? I don't know, yeah. You used to do this for NASA, didn't you? Yeah. They, they tried to, but then they, my welding wasn't good enough. Is that, oh! Well, oh, I have to, have to burn it. <laughs> Do you want to read a newspaper while you're at it? <laughs> <laughs> Look. Just blown a bit of an hole. You've blown a hole? It's got a... Nice little fire burning. Thank, thanks to Miller Roofing, they give us lots of their old pallets, stack loads of them, and I use my chainsaw to cut them in bits. <laughs> See, I look at the camera. When yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. That's, that's cool. Man. Doing. That's cool. <laughs> Talk to us, Tone. Well, I'm doing some uh, not watching really. <laughs> I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look. Hello chaps, another day here on planet Earth. Um, it's a Saturday and uh, I thought I'd come and do a bit of work on Cape. I'm going to finish the back end and turn the car around shortly. Got a nice little fire going. Because it's pretty cold and windy outside and just got to uh, let me show you Tony's artwork uh, this is <laughs> excessive metal basically uh, we're just putting in the corner there so I'll be cutting that off I've welded that in I've got to grind it back 
gonna weld that plate in fully uh, finish over here and then I'm gonna turn the car around and uh, the new chapter of the front end begins get to Kate's north side on the work area. Sight for sore eyes. Okay, chaps, I think she's a little bit. There we go. Okay, so this panel needs to be chopped off all the way. I don't know what it's called, a valance, is it? Front valance or something like that. These old inner light thingy bobbies I need to rip these off like this thing here because we're gonna put a ball at the back with double lights and need inner repair on these sections here down here down here all of this rail where the wing sits front scuttle panel whatever this thing is called this thing is gonna change See, it's got spot wells here, many other places, and yeah, fucking hell. This thing has got to come off. As you can see, uh, the previous owner, or whoever did it, they took it off, and then they stitched it back on again. I don't know why. Uh, all of this area needs doing. Um, this uh, inner wing looks from better nick as in no visible rust um, we've got to put the right hand drive scuttle panel on see this is the one that I think Whitey put on and I'm in the process of putting the other side on this corner here it's not on yet and then we've got to put the different scuttle panel basically the holes are in different locations and yeah and a few other bits and bobs. I need a wide lens camera. So the rear end is sort of all there now. Um, do do need obviously considerable amount of work, uh, like refinements, finishes. The panels are obviously because of the heat they've warped a little bit, and they'll need bashing out. 
uh, pinholes that I'll need to weld, tidy up, etc, etc, etc. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this long play video. It's been a long time in the making and I'll be relieved uh, to publish it. So uh, I just want to say thank you very much to all of you. Uh, yeah, there's quite a lot of you out there that one way or another show your, um, you know, your thoughtfulness, uh, support and like, guys, we haven't heard from you for ages. Is everything all right? <laughs> Everything's fine. Um, yeah. So, but we do really appreciate hearing that because it means that you guys are uh, thinking of us. So it's nice. Um, if you want to buy a cap to support our channel, I'll put a link in the under the video got some nice hoodies there not like this one but nice ones and thank you to Tony thank you to Ray thank you to Gav thank you to me <laughs> thank you to Ian and lots of other people who have always been around and encouraged me to carry on with this because it's pretty heavy going um, but it's starting to take shape guys, you know, we're over the, the hump and uh, s s little hints of excitement, light in the tunnel, it's very nice. So yeah, really appreciate it if you give us a thumbs up for this video, if you're still watching and if you haven't subscribed and you'd like to uh, follow this build and our other cars, well other things that we get around to please subscribe and if you think uh, some person in your family or friends might enjoy watching this uh, please do share it with them as a massive impact on our channel I hope I ain't got a bogey uh, sticking out of my nose because uh, I'm gonna have to cut all this and do it again um, so yeah that's it guys thank you very much for watching I'll be carrying on with the work and I'll be publishing again uh, the next video um, yeah so I think that's about it happy new year to everyone belated happy new year and uh, may it be a, a happy one a prosperous one a peaceful one and uh, yeah see you in the next video guys thank you very much bye